was, you know, I'm so sensitive on the littlest things. I feel like such an idiot. Like, um, I was bugging me yesterday. I, t my girlfriend's sick, so I text, I texted her. Got sick. She, she got sick working on the mountain. And okay. All these people came to the snow, and some, you know, someone probably got her sick. Okay. I texted her. I said the wrong thing, or you know, it's not even a big deal. But I'm making it a big deal in my head, and I texted her. Um, you know, sorry, you're sick. That sucks. And then I said, stupid people on the mountain coming up to, or stupid people coming up to see the snow got you sick. And I reread it. And I was like, that was negative. I didn't, you know. And then I don't know. I was just trying to sympathize with like, oh, they got you sick. But and then she wrote back and said, I'm tired. I'm tired of you calling people stupid. And I thought. I thought I, I was trying to be on her side and sympathize, and I even right. knew after I wrote it that right. sounds negative, actually. Right. Right. So I was, right. so then I just kept reciting what she texted me. I'm tired of you calling Call people, people stupid. stupid. Right. So I kept reciting that yesterday and today in my head. Right. So that's why right. you know, and then I'm all stressed out and shut down my day right. even more over right. this little thing because right. it's like, so you know, it's really pathetic and embarrassing, you know. Mm. So. Mm. I just feel like I just make, uh, I'm just making stuff worse and worse because I don't have a, I don't know, I don't know, I just like. Well, it takes energy. You know, I have to edit everything I say, I have to, you know, put everything through a filter, and boom, 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 and, and yes, we do know that she has, uh, not to, to your level, but she has some degree of the same uh, low self-esteem that you do, mm -hmm. you know, so we know that she's sensitive, highly sensitive to a word, as you said, you're going to be highly sensitive to a word, or, or the people out there that have the same design as you, you know, it's a lousy spot because one word can throw us off. Yeah, and I knew after I wrote that, I looked at it, I said, oh, that came out negative. I meant to, I was trying to sympathize, you know. <laughs> no, no, the, the, see, the motives were positive. Yeah, positive and then motives, the, you know, it's like, I was screwed up yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. a little thing, so that I dwell on it too much. You know, it happened and that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Not really that big a deal, but yet mm -hmm. I'm so low, I just keep reciting it, bring myself down more and more, right. and then I'm like, oh, I don't even feel like finishing work today. Yeah. You know, over that yeah. stupid little thing. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, if I work for someone else, I'd keep working because you got to work. But for myself, it's like, well, I can quit. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's no so freedom to. I'll do it quit. tomorrow, you know. Even though that has its advantages too. Yeah. No, more yeah. advantages than yeah. disadvantages. Yeah. That's yeah. why I do it. But yeah. if you're not self-motivated, you're like dead in the water. Well, we know that your motivation is self-motivated. Yeah. And if you're not motivating yourself, you know, the, the good news, as I said, is you're self-motivated. The bad news is you're self-motivated. Nobody's yeah. going to motivate you but yourself. You know? And then, yeah, when you're down, low energy and everything else, it's like really hard to motivate myself. <laughs> With with the, with all those feelings that you had, yeah. Okay, so um, so in part, what you said earlier that you know, don't really know what to do, um, and, and and that's that's a bit of a uh, comes out of desperation. It's, it's language. It comes out of desperation because actually you do know what to do. Earlier in the conversation, I know I need to have passions. If I don't have the passions and get addicted to a positive thing, these negative addictions are going to win out, you know, all, all the time. So, so you also know that after the holiday, you need time to rest. Yeah. Especially your relationship side, you need alone time to build up your energy again, you know, to move forward. And you know that, and have been practicing that, and 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 you, and you do it. Um, so, in a lot of ways. You do know what to do. That doesn't mean it's easy to do. <laughs> you know, knowing yeah. the problem, tap the solution. Maybe knowing the strategy is is another part of it. But 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 doing it is is is, is really hard. Yeah. So and then I feel like I'm letting other people down. You know, my girlfriend got sick, and I just been doing mm -hmm. kind of doing my own thing at the cabin and working. And I feel like I oh, probably wants me to be there, and I just. You know, kind of took time to myself, but then the whole time I'm feeling bad, and then I send a stupid text, you know, and it's like all these little stupid things that I shouldn't even think about, but it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me, 
<coughs> well, in a way, it was. <coughs> excuse me. In a way, it was good that you found about it because your all your your your, your relationship is is with a person who's also sensitive. Obviously, she read the text. Some other design wouldn't have thought diddly squat about yeah. that text. Yeah. You know? so, so it is important, depends who you're dealing with, to actually be careful about all, the, all, all these things. And the fact that you can know what's positive and negative is, 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 is a big thing. Some people would just say, what? Yeah, I'll see a problem with this. And yeah, understood. But 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 I said, hey, there's crazy people coming up here, and it's probably a true statement. There are crazy people. Yeah, I could have just <laughs> left the word <laughs> "stupid" out. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe that word. But again, the only point is that another person, the word "stupid" wouldn't mean anything to them. Yeah, it's not, it's not like charge. It has an emotional charge. Yeah. you know, you know, to it. even if they used it all the time, by the way. Yeah, I figured I must have been saying it more than just that. Maybe. She's tired of it, She's and I thought, well, yeah. so I thought, okay, this is good to be told. Yeah. You know, right. I said, thanks for letting me know. I'll stop saying that. Right, right. Uh, let's consider her condition. She's sick. Low energy. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Low energy. Yeah, so, so and she's just been at home stupid. by herself. Uh, and the other day may not have meant anything. Yeah. But because she's low, she's sick, she's feeling negative about herself and everything. So this word stupid just hit a button on yeah. her, you know. Uh, and, and I hadn't been over there for a few days, so she might have been a little irritated or something at me. I don't know. It, it, Already. And, and, or not, or irritated that she can't go in. And who knows how they responded at the other end. I'm, I, I can't come in. I'm sick. Uh, oh. They may not have been gentle. Who yeah. knows? Oh, yeah. great. You know, yeah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And, and then she may even come back and say, I feel stupid that I got a cold. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes it's a displaced anger. Yeah. You know, you use it as a sentence with, with, again, with positive motives you know, for herself because, but her condition was such that she heard that word yeah. and is super negative. And have you used it before? Probably. But yeah. again, her condition yeah. was equally, yeah, at, equally involved in that one little phrase you used in the communication. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we forget about the other side. Yeah. You know, what? What condition are they in? And, and, and we can give them some grace. We say, ah, it, yes, I, I probably shouldn't have used the word. You know, I could probably do better. Yeah. It, you know, but it wasn't like, you know, the end of the world word. There's a whole yeah. bunch of other words you could use yeah. that, were, that were much more severe than that. Negative. I've done plenty more <laughs> dumb things than say that word. <laughs> you see that? So. <laughs> yeah. so that word in and of itself. That word in and of itself isn't isn't off the charts, you know. Uh, but yeah. that word in connection to somebody else who's in a low spot yeah. can become a supercharged word. Yeah. So we shouldn't always put everything on ourselves. Is the point I'm trying to make on this? Yes, we communicated. Yes, we could have improved the communication. But what was the condition of the person receiving the communication? Were they in a high sensitive? Uh, zone were they low energy? The, was other things happening in their life yeah. that that triggered uh, almost like a displaced anger? But your design goes into Takes self focus. It, yeah, yeah. Everything was about you yeah. and what how you messed up. Where in reality that word may have had a whole bunch to do with her, and a whole bunch uh, to do with other people in her life who may yeah. have used that same word. So there may be a, maybe an even association. Yeah. So a lot of times we just put ourselves too much at the center of the universe. Yeah. And that we're the cause of all negatives in our own life and other people's lives and everything else. In reality, that's that's not right. That's not correct. Yeah. It's a lot going on in everybody's life, and you can't, whether you like it or not, compartmentalize. You know. You yeah. Know, what happens over here has nothing to do with over here. Yeah. Oh, no, it does. It, it, it's an influence. You might try to minimize it, but it's still an influence. And, and every past, every past relationship she ever had, when the person used the word "stupid," everybody she's ever known in her life. Yeah. Depending upon where that word happened in other relationships and what happened, is all that would affect you saying that word now. Yeah. So it's like, wow. Who knows what word to use there for? 
How do you know? How would you possibly know? <laughs> well, and that's why it was good to be, you know, one positive. It's good to know because maybe I'm just yes. really using it yes. all the time. Yes. And then I thought, oh, yes. I must be saying that yes. to a lot. Yes. And I thought that's really yes. not yes. a great thing to say all the time. Just go around saying stupid people, right. this and that. It's a good learning thing. Yeah. Right? It's a good learning so thing. So I thought that's a positive. Mm -hmm. So I know. Mm -hmm. So I don't mm -hmm. just keep saying it because yeah. I... Yeah. I don't know. I just feel dumb talking about it too much, but um, no. But I, so, see, communications is almost everything in a relationship. Yeah. And it's really say, how do you communicate in a relationship? But this so it all works out positively. Yeah. My answer is you can't. It's next to impossible. There's too many moving parts. There's too many influences for the entire life of somebody. Everybody else that, that they've ever had a relationship with, with, boom, 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 it all comes into play. You know, at at the same time. Not to say we should not learn. Yes, we should. The only point we're trying to make is. Don't put all the quote unquote blame on ourselves in terms of the response to the communication. Look for improvement, like you're saying, but on the other hand, say, oh, it's all on me. No, it's not all on you. It's on, there's a lot involved in communications. And communications, as we know, is a major core to relationships. How do you communicate? A lot of ways, it's next to impossible to communicate effectively all yeah, the time. It's so hard. Yeah, because we're up and down our own feelings. Uh, uh, we don't know how the other person responds to every other word. But yes, listen. If somebody has a negative response, we, we can we can make those those corrections. You know, and this is hoping that we don't go down any further. Make a correction, but not with the funk. Now we go to the funk, but if we can reason our way out of the funk. This is what we're doing right now. We're reasoning yeah. our way. We're not. That's, we're not saying it was good or bad. In terms yeah. of saying stupid, we're just probably talking it out it. so I can. Right, talking it out and the talking it out, reasoning it out. You see, I think that's what we do. We reason it out. We don't sugarcoat it. We don't make it like it didn't exist or or, or or modify it. You know, a little pat on the head type of scenario. Yeah. No, we reason it out, and through reason, cognitive thinking then that helps us make an adjustment to the funk. And that comes back to what you're saying. Not everybody can reason things out. The, so yeah. How, can you, you, how many people can I talk to who actually reason that out? You can't do it alone at a certain point. <laughs> and if there's no one to talk to, it's like, well, that's why people kill themselves. Because then they just go down and down and down, talk to a person, it gets worse and worse. And it's like, oh, I'm all alone. Right. And when you're in a funk, you're not thinking clearly that's and logically. And it's like true. you literally can't. Right. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you can go for, yeah. you know, that's why, that's why I don't exercise is key. That will help you start thinking clearly or help me. But it's like I'm getting to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to exert energy and exercises. Right. Yeah. 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 So, well, I, I think what you were saying is a good point, too. Uh, there's a progression downward. You can start with a funk. And not just sort of, I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a bad place. Can maybe progress to what we might call a depression. Yeah. You know, that this, uh, and then it can uh, progress to something that we call a clinical depression. And that we're getting really low. And, and that, that is a danger zone yeah. for people who have thoughts of saying, life's too hard, I need an exit strategy. Yeah. It, you know, and uh, more than addictions. You know, addictions is a type of exit, exit strategy. Yeah. I, I want something permanent. Yeah. You know, and that's when I start thinking about permanent exit strategies. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, so it's dangerous to go down there. So it's best to when it hits the funk level. Yeah, before know, pre depression it gets... even, because there's enough energy as I said. Your brain yeah. doesn't work if you go too far down. Your brain doesn't work. It, yeah. shut, it shuts down. So. Those,